Hello, we're back with your daily Twin Flame collective card reading. Um, oh yeah, I'm Brianne. And I'm Adam. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, so, uh, so today we're going to be pulling two cards from the Quantum Oracle. There you go. And we also will pull two cards from Angels of Abundance. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So our first card is transformation. Okay. And so the energy of this card is that see all of this, um, all of this action happening behind her. There's a lot of transformation happening, but there's a little bit of, um, like the fa the look on her face is like, there's a little uncertainty in moving forward in that transformation. Like, it's what her heart desires, and she knows that um, going through this transformation, this cycle, right, five changes up at the top cycle, um, she knows that going through this transformation is what she desires, but there's a little bit of resistance, a little bit of hesitancy as to, well, what am I going to, what's going to happen through this transformation? What's going to happen, you know, as this cycle ends? Well, it can only be more good. Um, as you grow, you're only going to attract more of what you desire to you. So this card is basically saying that it's safe to surrender to change and it's safe to um, move forward on your journey. Like you don't, that's one other thing too, is she's looking back at us, right? She's looking back on her past rather than looking ahead at what's, what is uh, in front of her. And so she's a little like, you know, do I want to let go of this? you know, what I've known for so long or my comfort zone, but know that it's safe to fully let go and move forward into all of your heart's desires. Yeah. Just give yourself some safety and security within your heart. Yeah, exactly. You're good. You're, you're good. Yeah. You're only going to um, manifest more good. Mm -hmm. You know, you're heaven on earth. You're perfect. So then that brings us into our next card, which is events. A, cre a creative endeavor. Very beautiful card. I love, I love this deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what this card is basically saying is that as you move forward and you choose to surrender to the changes and the transformation that are happening in your journey, um, you're stepping into uh, getting to know yourself even more, right? A creative endeavor. And as you get to know um, more of yourself, you naturally get to know your twin flame because your twin flame is you. You're one at the core. And as you're getting to know yourself as well in this card, um, you are uh, getting to, um, or you're stepping into your life purpose. Your life is one with your twin flame. You and your twin flame were designed to live a life as one, and that means your life purpose. God designed you to create together, to be together, to, um, yeah, just manifest all that you desire together. And so as you go deeper into you, you're getting clear on what that is that you and your twin flame, um, what you desire to do together and create together. And that's just, that's, there's so much fun in that. Like, how cool is that to get, you know, as you get to know yourself, you're naturally at the same time getting to know your twin. Like that's really beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I was just noticing the light in this card. Mm -hmm. um, it just feels very peaceful. Yeah. And like uh, God's light is just shining on the path. And yeah, it's beautiful. It's there's safe. also two like emotions, like there's water in the background. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. Nature and grounding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So good. Yeah. I'll mm -hmm. show you guys one more just see if you have one more look at the card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what we were speaking to and looking at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very beautiful card. Yeah, and the like the canvas is like clean in a way. It so is. It's like a... You create. You create whatever you want. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just do what feels good. Yeah. Play the music of life. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and so as your, um, this leads us into our next card, which is the Angels of Abundance card, but as you're creating and you're getting to know yourself and you're really enjoying that and you're really exploring, well, who am I? What am I about? What do I enjoy doing? 
Well, as you do that, you naturally attract your twin flame. Okay, let me read the bottom of this. Anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlying the chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. Yeah, so if you look at this card, this woman here, she is very, um, very much in a state of peace, and she's just being present with herself, and she's looking outwardly at all of the good that she's attracting to her. Like you can see also too, this lion um, sitting next to her, um, that is a sign of peace and power, strength. And as she's just present with herself and her being, she's naturally powerful and she's naturally peaceful. And in that, everything is moving towards her. You can see, um, get closer to the camera, you can see this boat and all of the good in the boat, all of the light is like moving towards her, like the turtles in the water. They're also moving towards her. There's even a horse on a, uh, yeah, like on a bridge and everything is movement towards her, towards her. And she's just pleasantly sitting there. And so this is um, really speaking to, you know, your twin flame journey. You don't chase your twin flame. You don't, um, you don't try to get them. You just pleasantly attract them to you. They're already yours. They already belong to you. You already belong to them. And so you don't need to go out and, um, you know, grab them. You just be present with yourself and continue, you know, getting to know yourself, you know, this creative en endeavor. And you're naturally, your twin flame is just going to meet you in that place so easily. And they're just going to flow right into you. Yeah. 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 Just be yourself. Be in yeah. your heart. And Love yourself. Exactly. That's all. Yeah. 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 So then that perfectly leads into the next card. Mm -hmm. It is pay yourself first. Make yourself your most uh, important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you have savings to invest in your present and your future. Yeah. So this card is basically... Um, it, going off of the last card is that just being present with yourself and loving yourself. Um, that is attracting your good to you. And also um, like self-care, right? If you desire to treat yourself, you know, you're working and there's something special that you want to do for yourself, um, do that. And it's also important too to speak to the energy of ensure that Make sure that when you're treating yourself, that you're not doing it to fill a hole. Like, let's say if you're um, feeling some emotions or you're feeling some sadness, <clears throat> you don't want to um, make a purchase or do something externally to fill that hole, to fill that empty space, because that is not sustainable and that is not, um, that's not really resolving the internal issue. What you want to do is if you find that you, you know, that you are doing that, you want to explore that place inside and really see what that part of you is needing. And you can immediately give that to yourself. Like if you're needing love or you're wanting some attention or you just need a hug or whatever it may be, pay that to yourself first, pay that into yourself. And then as you do that, you may get clear and feel like, okay, well, I don't need to splurge on this thing, or I don't need to go out and do this thing, or I don't need to spend that money, or I don't need to, you know, whatever the, whatever the thing may, the thing may be, or if you're clear in that, in that place and you just know, well, I'm at peace, right? Always move forward from a place of peace. And if you're in that peace and you're like, Hey, I just feel like splurging on myself right now. Right. Well then know that it, you know, do that, honor that. Um, and know that you're fully supported in doing that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. I just feel like there's a lot of like earth tones in that yes. uh, card so I just feel like you know just it's really like just grounding mm -hmm. uh, be present with yourself first yeah. like uh, like really important right now yeah just ground and be present yeah and it's important to ground and be present that way that you can move forward in your transition yeah 
Yeah, some of these like things are very subtle. Mm -hmm. The stuff that comes up, right? And exactly. When you're present, you will, you know, catch mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and notice too, in transition, your, you know, whether you're with your twin flame currently or you're not, you know, yet physically with your twin flame, um, each transformation and each step you take forward is another step closer into your union, into your harmonious union. If you're already in union with your twin flame, we'll know that that transformation, transformation is taking you deeper into your union with your twin flame. So it's always a win-win. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Very good. I feel complete there. What about you, Adam? Yeah. Love yourself. Yes, love yourself. Loving yourself um, manifests your harmonious union. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> But anyways, so um, we hope you guys enjoyed this reading, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.